Almost all the time, um, computational speed actually correlates very strongly with energy consumption. So designing our algorithms to be more efficient from a computational perspective, to run faster, um, actually means they use less energy. You do a search for, let's say, a, a, a Ford Escape hybrid. Um, we can do what we do today, which means actually a number of Google servers are involved in answering that search. We take that search, we divide it up into pieces, we send it out to a bunch of our servers. They each compute a piece of the answer. We get those back, um, sort of merge those together, and then send you the top 10. Okay. Um, we apply a fair amount of computational resources to figuring that out, and that takes energy. We could apply 1% of the computational resources and use 1% of the energy, but give you a lousy result. So there's a trade-off between the quality of the, the service we provide and how much energy we use. Um, and I think that, that when we're faced with that trade-off, we're almost always going to come down on the side of giving the user better quality. Because if we don't, we'll be out of business. If I ever choose the option, do I feel lucky on Google? I'm saving energy. You might well be saving some. We actually have to figure out what the top result is, which takes most of the work of figuring really? out the top 10. So. Um, so it's not clear you would save that much energy. We've actually done an enormous amount in reducing energy consumption, especially in our, our data centers, our server farms. Um, so we've, uh, a typical data center, for every watt of power going into the computers, another watt goes to power the air conditioners, the backup power, the uh, power conversion from high voltage coming in to lower voltage to DC voltage and so on. In our data centers, for every watt that goes to the computers, about 0.2 watts goes to all that overhead. So we've gotten rid of 80% of the overhead in the facilities. Um, we do have a to-do list of, you know, kind of the next set of things to do, but we're reaching the point, I think, of getting close to diminishing returns, where we can only squeeze so much more efficiency out of that.